a little bit sweet, yes. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today I'm proud to select a cask from two samples I got from the independent bottler signatory Vintage. Yes, these samples are both from the Logic distillery. No, that's not right. The Logic brand called Lodeic. Uh, and they both come from the Tobermory distillery from the Isle of Mull. And uh, both matured in sherry casks and both were filled in the cask in 2005. And both on the same day, the 6th, 7th of August 2015. No, they were filled here in the samples on the same day. Um. Yeah, one is called cask number 900 and 900,148. It's an awful writing. And the other just 900. Yeah, whatever. They can't read the, the number on the. Um, if you look carefully at those both spirits or whiskies, uh, then one is a little darker than, than the other. And this with the uh, 148 in the end of the cask number is a little bit darker. Both show some sediment on the bottom, so they are unfiltered, not only until filtered, but unfiltered completely. Uh, and now I'm happy to taste both of them. And uh, if you taste the whiskey for, well, for telling you here what I'm thinking about it, then I have my typical procedure, with, which is an, an average of adequate whiskey tasting. If you choose from a cask or from several casks, then you have to have a different procedure. And therefore, I switch over uh, from my new individual made cask uh, glass to this uh, Profi nosing glass, because it had marks. And with these marks, I'm able to dilute, uh, well, not exactly, but <laughs> adequate to selecting the whiskey. And uh, this is 60% ABV in both, approximately, they say. And with these marks, I can dilute quite precise. So this is the little bit darker sample. And uh, therefore, I put it in the glass with the additional writing of the distillery, which is Glenrothes, uh, here. Uh, this is the second one. Yeah. And the first test is now to knows the whiskey. Yeah, smoky, the Lichik brand from the Tobermore distillery is used for the peated malt whiskey. But it's not too strong, it's not this stinky medicinal um, smoke, but it's the, the bonfire smoke. A little bit sweet, yes. Ah, going over to dryness. The first appearance, probably a little bit vanilla or sweet, but now it's becoming drier and showing some dry fruits. I can't tell you which. It's not too smoky. If you look at the PPM value, this might be around 30, yes, 35. Not the extreme values. Oh, not to keep your nose too long in the glass, otherwise uh, the second one would smell differently. This is really different. That's 
not only smoky, quite the same amount of peat, but it shows fruitiness, a little bit of dark fruitiness going over to, yeah, a little bit of citrus fruit. But the alcohol is strong and shows always through. So there's in the first one, there's a lot of smokiness and a little bit behind, can't tell you what. And this one is as well smoky, but shows more in the back. Yeah, <clears throat> now I'm going to dilute the whiskey. And this is an, a trick or a habit used by distillers. You dilute a lot. They typically go down to 25%. Here I'm doubling up so that we reach 30%. This should be enough. And uh, this will help to reduce the influence of the alcohol on the aromas a lot. So now we can taste what's behind it. But I'm afraid the whiskey is far below drinking strength, so you can't really do it at home if you still want to <laughs> savor the whiskey afterwards. So it's the smoky part is quite the same, and behind is a, a little fruitiness. But not really much. There's a fruitiness on top and key aromas like vanilla, caramel, you name it, are missing. A little fruitiness, but I can't tell you what fruitiness and a little dry. Now we're going over to the other one. Yeah, and here's more. The alcohol is gone and now we have some some oranges, some citrus. There's more in the taste or more in the aroma, uh, which is typically covered by the alcohol and by the uh, yeah, the peat smoke, and with a heavy dilution, you're able to, to find those tastes. Yeah, a lot more in it. So, in the moment I have decided, the second one will it be. And now I'm doing a last check if there are bad flavors in the whiskey, which give you a an unwelcome aftertaste. Yeah, not too much of taste, quite light, no Wit, bitterness, no strange aromas, a little bit vanilla, a little bit caramel coming up from the cask, yes, covering your mouth, yeah. showing more activity on your tongue and now there's this citrus fruit is orange flavor mouth watering so there's a lot a lot more in this second one yeah so this last was only this last course was only done uh, to definitely find out if there are 
weird taste in it, which might be not that good for the overall appearance of this whiskey. Yeah, this is how to, well, to choose whiskey from uh, several samples, which are quite comparable. And typically, if the, well, the blend masters, the master blenders uh, are going through the warehouses, then casks are opened <clears throat> by the dozen and uh, those glasses are filled with samples and then they're going through the uh, glasses and, and just sniff at the glasses and uh, from this nosing they decide which cask are used for what. Because, well, they can't taste every cask, otherwise they would be, yeah, you know. <clears throat> On the other hand, if you are smelling too long at a whiskey, the taste or the, the aromas will influence the next one. And so they are starting early in the morning where the taste buds are fresh. They're not, uh, well, covered by the taste of the day by a meal at noon. They start fresh in the morning and then, uh, well, going through in 20, 30 minutes and then they are gone. They are finished because all those taste buds and, and uh, well, your mind are, is covered by aromas and every next glass will remember of the one before or the one, 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 one before. So everything is mixed up and uh, there won't be any good results after that. So here it's quite easy, just two samples and it's an A-B comparison and it's, well, it was easy this time. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to discuss this video with me, please join us on whiskey.com in our vlog. Thank you.